I'm back with some brand new hair and a brand new video. I am in my cowgirl copper era. It's very bright right now. It will fade over time. It's temporary. Anywho, for today's video, I kind of wanted to do a rundown of products that I have been influenced to buy that I actually think are worth the money, that are worth buying, that are worth the hype. Like I'm, I'm glad that I was influenced to buy these things. And if you guys want to see like another part two where I show things that I have been influenced to buy that that, like I genuinely regret like that were not good let me know in the comments below I have tested out quite a few things on this channel that you know I've tested out for like trying different TikTok viral products videos or trying influencer hyped products or whatever but these are all kind of things that I've just been influenced to buy like on my own that I haven't shown for a video that I haven't like reviewed online these are items that I have either seen a lot of people that I follow on Instagram recommend or that I've seen go viral on TikTok or that a friend of mine has recommended or whatever and just things that I have like tested out in my personal life that I truly enjoy. So I thought that I would share them with you. Keep in mind, these are just my opinions and these products have worked well for me personally. So I've got a few different categories. I have like a fashion, shoes, accessories category. I have like a beauty, hair, makeup category. And then I have more of like a lifestyle kind of home category. So hopefully this will be interesting to you. I love watching videos like this. And I mean, if you're easily influenced like me, then this might be right up your alley. Um, if it's not, that's totally fine. But I have just been like kind of making a running list in my phone of things that I'm like, I need to talk about that at some point. So what better time than now? We have a lot to cover. I'm gonna be doing a lot of chatting in this video. Make sure you grab a snack, grab a drink, pour yourself a glass of wine, whatever you wanna do, make a mocktail, cause it's gonna be a little bit. So buckle up, let's do it. This is like one of my favorite things in the entire world. And it also kind of reminds me of like old school YouTube, like favorites videos and stuff. So hopefully you enjoy it. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so the first thing that I was influenced to buy is a small business like t-shirt make brand that's local here to LA. It's called Daydreamer Los Angeles. And I've seen a few people post about how they have like really high quality t-shirts. Everything is sustainable. It's ethical. It's like made here in LA. And as you know, <laughs> if you've been watching, I just love a good, perfect oversized t-shirt. So I picked out two different ones. I've had these for probably like two, three months now. And I genuinely love them. They are so comfortable. They are pricey because it is a more kind of like sustainable leaning small business, but oh man, these are so good. So I have these two t-shirts. How cute are these? This first one is a Spice World t-shirt that like is truly the t-shirt of my dreams. It's already nice and faded. It's almost kind of like a dark gray, but it's like a faded sort of black tee. It's got the amazing graphic. I think they also had this one in white as well. And the thing about these shirts is they're actually oversized. So you don't have to buy like two sizes above your normal size for it to fit that kind of like baggy loose t-shirt type of fit that I personally love. And I mean, I am just to Spice Girls girly through and through. I was a ginger growing up. I mean, kind of fitting now, but I truly love this shirt so much. It's soft, it's comfortable. I feel like I can wear it to bed, but also wear it out and about. And this is genuinely like one of the most beloved t-shirts in my closet right now. I just absolutely love it. And then the other one that I got is this white one that has a blondie graphic on it. And I do feel like the graphic is like exactly what I would want. It looks a little tiny bit faded, but like in a good way, like it looks like a worn in vintage tee. And so if you've been searching for a really long time for like a good vintage graphic tee that's in like the right size, that has extended sizing, et cetera, et cetera, I would definitely recommend this brand. I'm not sponsored at all whatsoever. By the way, all of this was bought with my own money. I'm just easily influenced, like I said. But yeah, even though these are a little bit pricier for t-shirts, they're gonna last forever. And like, they're just exactly what I was looking for. They are genuinely worth the hype and I love them both. Next up, we have two items that I was fully influenced by TikTok to purchase. Um, TikTok is definitely like a love hate for me. But regardless, I bought two jackets from Target or the Wild Fable line from Target, which like I have mixed feelings on. If you've been around since like probably 2018 when it first dropped at Target, I was obsessed. I was their number one fan. I felt like so much of the stuff was very 90s focused and then it kind of shifted more into like Y2K and very like tween teenager kind of stuff. But occasionally they do surprise you with really good stuff. They're size inclusive and they're really affordable and accessible as well because they're available at Target. So anyway, I 
got two jackets and I saw this one on a TikTok and I was like, yeah, I absolutely need that. And it is so, so good. It's sort of this like faux leather, but kind of faded look. It's like a little bit beat up and it looks a little bit more vintage. And it's just like a zip up sort of bomber style leather jacket. And this was $40. And I think I even got it on sale if I'm not mistaken, or I had a coupon or something. I will say for Wild Fable, I do size up most of the time, especially if it's something that I want oversized. So for this one, I got a double XL, but I think they carry it up to like a three or four X. And it's just so comfortable. It's like the perfect weight of jacket for me where it's not one of those like thick insulated by this much types of jackets. It's just like a nice layering piece. And it's just, oh my God, it's so, so cute. It's like already soft and worn in. It's not stiff. I fully stand by this one. I love it. And then the other one is this denim one again that I got in a size double XL. And it's more of like a denim bomber version of that. This was $35. So I think like for a denim jacket, that's gonna last you forever. That's a pretty good price in my opinion. I always love shopping secondhand for things when I can, but sometimes it's just really nice to be able to have an item that's very affordable, that's in your size, that you know has extended sizes, and it's just like you can go to Target or order it online and pick it up. So yeah, I really love both of those. Those are gonna be so heavily worn by me. I'm really in like a denim phase right now, and I love both of those. Speaking of denim, I felt like I needed to mention this because a lot of times, you know, you can see things recommended or you know, influencers influencing these things on social media and you're like, is that worth the hype? Is that worth the money? Especially if it's a more expensive brand. And I can fully say that Good American to me is worth the hype. Like I am a Good American stan. I will give credit where credit is due. I absolutely think these are like my favorite jeans that I own. And I have tried on a lot of jeans in my history on this channel. And I feel like the Good American good 90s jeans are for me, my ideal perfect jean. So I have two different pairs. This first one, I've had these for probably like two, three years now. And these are like the good 90s, more light wash with the rips at the knees. I got these in a size 15. 15 is typically the size that I wear in Good American. And then I also have these sort of like medium darker wash ones. And I just feel like they're the perfect sort of slightly wide leg, but not too, too wide. They have pretty inclusive sizing as well. I think they go up to like a US size 28 or 30. They are expensive, I will say that, but to me, they're worth the money. I feel like of all the jeans that I have in my closet, I look the hottest in these. Just my personal opinion. The next item is a little bit more of a recent purchase. And if you watched my video, I don't know, a few weeks ago where I talked about the shoes that I am absolutely loving for fall and winter and the shoes that I kind of have my eye on, one of those shoes was the Adidas Gazelles. And I did um, pick up a pair of them because I was influenced. So I picked up this pair, which is the Gazelle Bolds and I got them in red and they're so cute. They have more of a platform. That's what I think the bold is. I am so obsessed with these. I wanted them in so many different colors. Like I was thinking about the blue pair, the green pair. And I was like, you know what? I am just really in like a red shoe kind of moment right now. I have a pair of red boots. I have red ballet flats. And so I decided to get these in red and they're so comfortable. They're so cute. The only thing that like kind of got annoying after wearing these all day was just that the tongue right here is like very hard and flat. So it was kind of pushing up against the top of my foot, but it didn't like hurt or anything. It was just something that I noticed. And these do run, in my opinion, like a little bit big. I'm typically a US women size nine. And I did order these in a nine and they are like a little bit roomy, but I'm just wearing them anyways. I don't really care. And oh, they're just so cute. They literally go with everything, like every neutral outfit. They're adorable. And yes, I was influenced to purchase these. I saw a couple of you, I wore these in a reel and a TikTok recently. And I saw a couple of you be like, I saw Carrie was influenced. She ended up getting the gazelles. And I'm like, yes, I did. Yes, I did and I am so happy about it, I love it. I'm only gonna touch on these next ones briefly because I feel like I've talked about them in videos before and if you watch my vlogs, you've heard me talk about them and it's just like, it's kind of like beating a dead horse at this point. But I did get a couple new ones and I just need to get the message out there that these are amazing. So anyways, the Uniqlo crossbody bag, Uniqlo, Uniqlo, their crossbody bag is the best thing that's maybe ever happened to me. I have a black one that's like my everyday bag. It goes with everything, it fits so much. I took it with me to Japan back in March and I had like everything in it. I had my wallet, I had my vlog camera, my sunglasses. If it's like a water bottle, like a small water bottle, there's just 
there's no limit <laughs> to what these things will fit. And recently they came out with corduroy versions for fall, which like, yes, I did purchase. So I picked out this brown corduroy, which is so beautiful. I took it with me to like the apple orchard recently and it just fits so much. It's so cute. And then I also got an ivory one, which I had been meaning to get sort of a more light colored neutral one. Sometimes you want something lighter colored. So I got this one and I think that there are people that are saying that like it's overdone or that they're chuggy or that they're based or whatever, I absolutely do not care. I love them and I would get them in many more colors, but I'm trying to like limit myself here a little bit. Anyways, I know I said I wasn't gonna talk about it for a long time and then I kind of did, but I love them. The last sort of like fashion thing that I was influenced to purchase is this pair of sunglasses. These are from Amazon and I believe Amber Fillerup was the one who first posted about them. And like these are so cute. These are like my 90s dream. I love them so much. I love the black lenses with like the gold outline. I think they were like 12 or 13 dollars. I only pretty much buy my sunglasses from Amazon because I cannot be trusted with expensive sunglasses. I've had them in the past and I have like lost them or broken them and so it's just I just know myself and I know that I'm just an Amazon Sunnies girly and like look how cute these are. I love them so much. I feel like I just have been getting really bored with sunglasses lately because they're also sort of the same and these were just fun and different so I had to mention them. They did come with like a chain, like a gold chain thingy. Um, I just got rid of that because I was like, I'm not gonna wear that. But if that's your thing, they have that as well and then it can like stay around your neck or whatever it is. It really doesn't take much to influence me. I know that like this is my job, but it's also like my passion. Like I love when people recommend things. I'm like, I wanna try that. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, next we are gonna go into more of like hair, makeup slash beauty items. So this first one is a hair mask slash color depositing mask, which is actually what I have on my hair right now. And I saw this on TikTok as usual. And this is called the Maria Nila Color Refresh. This is in the color Bright Copper. It's produced in Sweden. It's 100% vegan and animal friendly. It has argan oil, etc. So it's essentially like a conditioner that you put in your hair after you shampoo it. You leave it on for three to 10 minutes and then you rinse it out. And it's not permanent. Because I had lighter hair underneath, I went ahead and mixed it with a just like normal white conditioner, just kind of like a manic panic or any kind of temporary dye that you've used in the past. And even though like I probably left it on a little bit long just cause I wanted it to last longer. Like I wanted the extended wear type of thing. You could easily leave it on for like three minutes. I think I left it on for close to 10. And I mean, it's, it's pretty bright, but I feel like as it washes out and becomes more of like a coppery tint instead of like a full on red, I'm gonna love it even more. But honestly, it looks way more vibrant in the camera than it does in person anyways. So I love this. This is my first time using it. I literally used it this morning, but I thought I would mention it because I really enjoyed this. Now, here's the thing. Consult with your hairstylist. I consulted with mine and I showed this to her. We looked at it, especially with colors like red. Just consult with your hairstylist first because you don't want to get yourself in a position where you accidentally dye your hair and then you like screw yourself over in the end. But my hairstylist said this was good to go and I love it. I'm so obsessed with it. So I'm excited to see how this will wash out you'll be able to see it as time goes on. But I just wanted to do my fall cowgirl copper as they call it moment and I love it. Next up, we're gonna talk about a fake tanner. I usually fake tan about once a week. My favorite one that I have been using for probably the last like, I don't know, three years I wanna say that I was influenced to buy is this filter by Molly May. This is like one of the best self tanners I've ever used. And there are definitely like varying opinions on Molly May. She is a contestant from Love Island UK, in case you aren't familiar. Anyways, I'm just talking about the product itself. I saw a couple influencers that I follow talk about it and I was like, okay, let me test it out. And honestly, this to me anyway, is the best smelling fake tan that I've used. And it's also just the one that I keep going back to. It lasts the longest on me. I genuinely love this one. And this is just their tanning mousse. I get it in extra dark. Sometimes I get it in dark. And this one you leave on for four to 10 hours. Most of the time I just put this on before bed. So I'll like exfoliate myself in the shower, slap this stuff on and then go to bed and then shower in the morning. I have used so many self tanning products, like I, any brand. And to me, this is my favorite. So I can only speak for myself, but I genuinely love it. I feel like the color is like the most natural. A lot of other fake tans will have like a green tint to them. That's sort of more of like a canceling out any orangey tones guard. And this one doesn't really have that. It's more of just a brown when you put it on. So anyway, I like it. I think it's a decent price. I mean, I do have to 
to stock up and order it just so that it's like worth it for the shipping, but I genuinely love it. I can't remember if I've talked about this or not, but I get a lot of questions about what lip combos I'm wearing and almost every single time, like I would say 9.5 times out of 10, I'm wearing this lipstick with like varying glosses over it. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. I just have this like little tiny one right now that I throw in my bag, but it is such a cute color. It's like that perfect sort of like nudie, mauve -y color that looks so different on everyone. Depending on your skin tone, it's gonna look different on you, but because I'm more fair, it's a little bit of a darker color on me and I love it. This is like my everyday if I'm wearing lipstick. I also use the lip liner that goes with it. Drew got it for me for Christmas. I've used the gloss. A hundred percent I was influenced to get this because everyone <laughs> that I follow it seems talks about this and I was like even late to the party. Like people have been using this for years. I don't see myself veering from this anytime soon. It's so good. Next up for another hair item. I have been using this for probably a little over a year now and I love it and this is the Ceremonia Heritage Scalp Remedy Oil and I... Don't know if I've ever smelled a better smell in my entire life. It seriously smells so good. And I did hear that there might potentially be a candle in this. And if there is, I need it or like a perfume or whatever. It's just, oh my God, it's like kind of smoky, but like musky and sweet and I'm obsessed. Anyways, this is a scalp oil. So you put this on either like overnight or anywhere from like 10 to 15 minutes before you shower. I just kind of like take the little dropper and I just sort of like do it all over my scalp. I massage it in. And then sometimes I will literally leave it for like 24 hours. <laughs> Um, it just totally depends. Sometimes I'll like put it on my hair, let it soak in, go do like a workout, go do my thing and then wash my hair. But you do need to wash your hair after you use it because it's literally an oil. But it's like a pre-shower scalp oil and it just keeps your scalp nice and healthy, moisturized, and it smells fantastic. So I absolutely love this. It is like slightly pricey for a hair oil, but oh man, it is so worth it. And I think this is like my second or third bottle that I've purchased and I will continue to buy this forever. It's Mwah, it's my baby. Then for the last hair item, this is like a tried and true favorite. I have used this for probably close to 15 years now and I'm not exaggerating. This is called the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. And it's like, it's just such a tried and true fave. And there are some things that were popular back in the day on YouTube that like everyone was talking about that I have like never stopped using. I genuinely love them. It smells amazing. It kind of reminds me of, I think it was the Ralph Lauren Ralph perfume. I used to use it in high school and I feel like this smells exactly like like it. It's just so good. It comes in like a little spray. You just spray it. It's kind of like a leave-in conditioner consistency and then you rub it on your ends and like your mid lengths while your hair is wet before you style it and then I'll do like a heat protectant afterwards and it's just so good. Like I will never stop using this. This is like my go-to detangler, leave-in, whatever and I just had to mention it because some of us are still stands of this product and I absolutely am one of them. I love it so much. And then last but not least we have a sort of like lifestyle slash home category. These are things that I've been influenced to purchase that like have exponentially improved my life. The first one being my Stanley cup. I feel like this has been one of the most hyped things that I've seen on the internet in so long. And I've had this one for oh, like going on a year now, I wanna say. And then I got the bigger one probably a little longer ago than that. And I love it. I love it so much. I know that people have like mixed opinions about them. And I think that there are even like more affordable options now that are even better. I think there's one called like Brewmate. And then there's like a, I don't know, Simply Modern or something like that and they're a little bit more leak proof, etc. But I love my Stanley. It's not going anywhere. I was a Hydro Flask girly, which I still am. I still have it. But this is just so much easier because it fits in every cup holder. And it's just like a cup. You just kind of do that instead of having to like open a water bottle type of thing. I do see that there are like cute little accessories that you can buy that are like straw toppers to kind of help prevent like bacteria from getting in there. I love my Stanley. I It goes with me everywhere. It goes from room to room with me. It's next to my bed at night. I have my backup for when I wash this once a week in the dishwasher. I've influenced Drew to get one for himself. I got one for my mom, Drew's mom and Drew's sister for Christmas. His two nieces want ones for Christmas. Like it's just so Good. It keeps my water nice and icy cold. Not as much as like a Hydro Flask because it's a little bit open, but I genuinely love it. If there are any others that you want to see me try out, I have seen quite a few of them going around on TikTok recently. Maybe I'll do that in like a future video or something, but oh, I love my Stanley. I don't care if it's lame or not trendy or whatever. You can rip it out of my cold dead hands. 
I love it so much. Next we have another thing that I think I saw someone using on TikTok or maybe it was Instagram, but these have changed the course of my life and these are cordless rechargeable lamps. And these are the cutest things that I have ever seen in my entire life. And it's literally a touch lamp that you can take with you from room to room. Like we have one in our kitchen. We have them on our nightstand because we have sort of like limited outlets. It's a very old apartment. So we have these that we just charge like once a week and it's just so cute. I feel like a lamp adds so much to the coziness of a room. And obviously right now it's daylight, so you can't really tell that well, but there's different settings. There's like a super cool tone setting. There's a warm tone setting, and then there's both. And I feel like it just adds to the ambiance of every room. So I am just like so here for battery powered lamps that are rechargeable. It just has like the lightning or it's like, I think it's the USB-C type of charging port. And you can just use, I use like my laptop charger to charge this it's just so good and I think this is like $17 and I just thought I would mention it because it's so so good I love it another Amazon fave that was recommended I think on TikTok as well but a lot of you actually recommended it to me and that is a USB powered lighter now I'm like always lighting candles I would just buy those like Bic sort of like big candle lighters you know those big tall ones and then when it would run out I'd have to throw it away and so quite a few of you recommended to me like hey have you ever thought about getting a USB light it's like way more sustainable. You just recharge it, like you plug it into your wall. And I was like, what? And so I got one recently and this one is from Amazon. It was very affordable. It just has like a little button on the bottom. So you like turn it on and then you kind of move the little lighter thing. It's so exciting. And then there's like a little current that goes between it and it basically lights your candle instantly. And it's so iconic. And then you just like turn it back off. And then there's a tiny little thing at the bottom again for like a USB-C charger. And then you're just good to go. And it lasts so long before dying. If you're someone who is always lighting candles and you're tired of going through lighters, this is definitely one that I would recommend. It's so, so good. And then the very last item might sound kind of weird, but it is genuinely so good. And I think I first saw it on Instagram reels someone posted it and drew sent it to me and he was like we need one of these and it is a lift top coffee table and we just got it probably like two weeks ago and we are obsessed it's essentially a coffee table where the top lifts up off of it and turns into an actual table and um just one thing about me and drew is that we are coffee table diners we just eat our dinner at the coffee table we love watching our shows and just like cozying up afterwards and this thing has truly been such a game changer because i just get so so tired of hunching over and like eating over this low coffee table. Sometimes I would even sit on the floor so that it was like more of an even level so that I could eat. And with this coffee table, it literally just like lifts up and it's so iconic. And I think this was $173 if I'm not mistaken, which to me is like pretty decent for a coffee table. Obviously this is more of like a specialty one. You know, you can find coffee tables for much less, but for this one, all we had to do was screw on the legs. It was very fast. We assembled it in like under five minutes and it has truly been one of the things that I look forward to so much every night just like lifting up the table and then putting it back down it's just so good and there's also storage underneath it as well which is nice and so yeah this might be like a weird thing to mention but it's genuinely something that I was influenced to buy that I and Drew both love like we're obsessed so yeah that's a lot of chatting and a lot of different things that I mentioned but um I truly love all of this stuff and I hope that you will also links to everything that's available will be down in the description box below I can't promise that it will be like the perfect thing in your life, but all of these things I genuinely love so much and I'm so, so happy about. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. If you wanna see a part two where I share products that I have been influenced by that I kind of regret low key or that maybe didn't work out that great for me or that were like just overly expensive or whatever the case, definitely let me know in the comments below. Of course, leave any other video requests that you wanna see as we're going into like the fall and winter and like holiday soon season. What is happening? Definitely leave all that down below as well. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you all of my love and I'll see you very soon in my next video.